everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to the homestead. Well, today is the big day. We're going to be butchering these chickens today. I want to give you guys just a really quick glimpse at what they looked like at five weeks old and then also at six weeks old. So uh, today they are seven and a half weeks old. Ideally, we would butcher these at about eight to nine weeks, but um, next weekend he's not going to be um, available. And so we're taking advantage of doing it this weekend because um, it just doesn't make sense to me to feed them for two more weeks and postpone it another week. So seven and a half weeks it is. We're going to show you guys um, the process of this. So little warning, if you're squeamish, um, this may or may not be the video for you or maybe fast forward through some parts, maybe get right to the end. Um, but we're also going to do the math for you guys at the end and figure out how much it cost us to raise these chickens and also um, how much meat we're actually getting. So pound per pound, what did it cost us to raise a bunch of meat chickens in seven and a half weeks? So first we move the chickens as close to our butchering station as possible. We used a kill cone to place them in. This helps to relax them. And then moment of silence, uh, big knife and um, chickens without a head. There you go. We had our station all set up. So we had our chicken plucker set up, uh, plugged in, elevated off the ground, and then we covered that up so that it wouldn't get splattered in the process. We heated up our water and we used an outdoor gas uh, propane heater to do that. Ideally, you want your water to be at a temperature of between 140 degrees to 155, and then completely submerge those chickens in there, and you test uh, whether or not they're done scalding by pulling their feathers from the wings. If those feathers come out easily, then they're ready to be plucked. Now, plucking chickens by hand uh, can be pretty time consuming, but using this automatic chicken plucker is absolutely amazing. This is real time, so you can see just how fast it is to remove all of those feathers. We also learned that using two chickens um, at a time makes the process go a lot faster. It actually helps to have two in there rather than just one. You can do it just one at a time, but it helps to have both chickens. Um, in there at the same time and then all of the excess feathers just drain right off the bottom and There it is finished product. Look at how clean they look. There are a few feathers still left on them And we just you know pull those by hand. That's pretty easy to do um, We gutted those while we were outside cleaned them out um, used uh, the livers I like to eat chicken livers, so we kept a few of them but most of them we just got rid of. And then, you know, wash everything off really well, make sure that everything stays clean, wash off our workstation in between uses. And then those chickens went on ice. We had those in an ice chest with ice in it. So we kept them in there until we finished the whole process. And there's a job for everyone to do on this day. So John was helping me uh, to finish cleaning those up by removing any extra feathers from them. I was gutting them. Um, our daughter-in-law, Tasha, was out there with us. She was monitoring the temperature of the water and changing that out. We changed out the water every uh, four chickens so that, you know, I mean, it gets pretty nasty after a while, so she was doing that. Our son was our videographer for the day. Um, that's Gabriel and we really appreciated his help because it allowed us to focus on you know taking care of you know cleaning up the meat now after we were done with this we I separated everything into parts I only kept four of the chickens whole the rest of them I separated it into leg quarters and uh, the breast bagged everything and then refrigerated it for, for 24 to 48 hours um, it helps to tenderize that meat when you do that. If you don't put it straight in the freezer, it's actually better to do that. So after 48 hours, after two days, uh, because we had used these shrink bags, then we just dunked them in hot water and shrank right around that meat nice and tight. And there's the finished product. So much really good meat, uh, fresh chicken for our freezer, and the taste, guys, is just phenomenal. And the extra parts, the smaller parts, like the backs and the wings and the feet, I made some chicken broth out of that. 
and then the following day we canned all of that chicken broth and look at that I mean this is going to be so wonderful to have throughout the year it's sitting in our pantry right now so finished product 25 chicks they ate 350 pounds of feed we lost some of them so we ended up with 125 pounds of chicken meat um, for $265 that's at a cost of $2.12 a pound. To me personally, that is totally worth it. I could probably find meat cheaper than that, but not for this quality. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Till then, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.